It was the evening of October 19, 2017, at the Haleakala Observatory, nestled high on the misty volcanic slopes of Maui, Hawaii. The air was still, the sky a black canvas scattered with ancient light. Astronomer Robert Warrick was at his station, peering into the vast unknown through the Pan Stars 1 telescope, a sentinel designed to scan the heavens for lurking near Earth objects. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary until it appeared. A faint streak, a dot moving faster than anything bound by the gravity of our Sun should be. At first, it looked like just another asteroid, but as Robert reviewed the data, something didn't add up. It was too fast, too angled. Its trajectory didn't curve like local objects. No, this thing wasn't from around here. The data screamed something extraordinary. This object was not part of our solar system. It was a visitor from the great interstellar dark. They named it Oumuamua, a Hawaiian word meaning scout or messenger sent from afar, as if it were a cosmic envoy drifting silently between stars, carrying secrets older than time. Unlike any asteroid or comet we've seen before, Oumuamua tumbled like a spinning baton, its shape elongated like a cigar or pancake glinting with strange reflections. It didn't behave like anything in the astronomical textbooks. And just like that, it was gone. Oumuamua is highly elongated, with an estimated length between 100 and 1,000 meters, approximately 300 to 3,000 feet, and a width and thickness between 35 and 65 meters, 167 meters. 115 to 548 feet. Its brightness varies by a factor of 10 as it spins, indicating it is about 10 times as long as it is wide, which is much more elongated than any known asteroid or comet in the solar system. It has a reddish color similar to objects in the outer solar system, suggesting a surface altered by cosmic ray irradiation over hundreds of millions of years. It appears dense and rocky, possibly metallic, with no detectable water or ice, and no cometary coma or tail was observed despite its close approach to the Sun. Oumuamua's discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. It was moving on a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it wasn't bound by the Sun's gravity. It came from outside our solar system, traveling at incredible speeds. But that's just the beginning of the mystery. First, its velocity matched what's called the local standard of rest, basically the average motion of stars and interstellar material near the Sun in the Milky Way. Specifically, its velocity was within about 5 kilometers per second of the median galactic velocity of stars in the solar neighborhood and within 2 kilometers per second of the mean velocity of local M-dwarf stars. This is highly unusual for a natural object which would typically have a more random velocity. It's as if Oumuamua was cruising through the galaxy on a carefully planned route. Even more puzzling is that Oumuamua passed incredibly close to Earth at just the right time for us to observe it in detail. Statistically, this kind of perfect timing is almost impossible for a random space rock. Then there's the acceleration. Oumuamua sped up slightly as it moved away from the Sun, but without any visible signs of outgassing, like a comet's tail. This defies all natural explanations we know. And its shape, elongated and tumbling, with a constant rotation rate that's hard to explain naturally. It's unlike any asteroid or comet we've ever studied. So what does all this mean? Natural explanations, like a comet, asteroid or fragment, just don't fit the data. The odds of all these unusual features happening by chance are astronomically low. That's why some scientists from Harvard University propose a bold idea. Oumuamua might be an artificial object, a probe sent by an alien civilization designed for efficient galactic navigation. Its velocity, acceleration, and shape could all be signs of advanced engineering. In a 2018 paper, Harvard researchers Abraham Loeb and Shmuel Bieli suggested that 
Oumuamua might have been intentionally sent toward Earth's vicinity by an extraterrestrial intelligence. Their argument was based on several of the object's strange features, including its extremely elongated shape, roughly 10 times longer than it is wide, its immense speed of about 196,000 miles per hour, and most notably, its unexplained acceleration as it moved through and eventually out of the solar system. This acceleration couldn't be accounted for by traditional cometary outgassing. Loeb and Bealy proposed that the acceleration might have been driven by radiation pressure exerted on a thin, sail-like material, a concept similar to the solar sail technology that humans are currently developing for deep space missions. Based on this, they speculated that Oumuamua could either be a fragment of alien technology or a fully operational probe designed to explore or observe the solar system. While undeniably thought-provoking, this hypothesis remains speculative. Robert Warrick, the astronomer who discovered Oumuamua, dismissed the idea as wild speculation and leaned toward a more mundane explanation, possibly a faintly outgassing comet that eluded detection. However, Loeb and Bielli argue that given the object's atypical behavior and the lack of a conclusive natural explanation, the possibility of an artificial origin deserves serious scientific attention. In 2023, a new hypothesis emerged that aims to offer a natural explanation. Jennifer Bergner, an assistant professor of chemistry at the University of California, Berkeley, and Daryl Seligman, a National Science Foundation postdoctoral fellow at Cornell University, proposed that Oumuamua had been altered by cosmic radiation, which caused hydrogen to become trapped within it. As it approached the sun, this hydrogen was released, providing the unexpected thrust. I have been trying to explain the outgassing for several years now, Seligman said. First, I thought that perhaps there just wasn't too much dust in the outgassing to form the coma. Later, we thought that perhaps it was made of some more volatile material than what we see in usual comets, such as hydrogen, nitrogen, or carbon monoxide. But there were theoretical issues with each of these explanations. Seligman noted that forming hydrogen-based objects would require extremely low temperatures, not typically found in the dense molecular clouds where such bodies originate. Nitrogen, meanwhile, is too scarce in the Milky Way to account for the observed frequency of objects like Oumuamua. Now, Seligman and Bergner suggest the object's chemistry might not be extraordinary at all. Instead, Oumuamua could have been shaped by interstellar processes unfamiliar to us, especially those not observed in comets within our solar system. A comet traveling through the interstellar medium is essentially getting cooked by cosmic radiation producing hydrogen in the process," Bergner explained. We wondered, if this is happening, could the hydrogen become trapped within the object, only to be released as it warms upon entering the solar system? Their models showed that hydrogen outgassing could, in theory, explain Oumuamua's strange acceleration. Historical experiments from over 40 years ago also support the idea that cosmic radiation can split molecular hydrogen from ice and trap it inside. Still, this explanation is not without controversy. Some scientists remain skeptical, particularly about whether enough hydrogen could be produced and stored to account for the observed thrust. Harvard University's astrophysics professor Avi Loeb, in his response to Seligman and Bergner's study, claimed that the two miscalculated the surface temperature of Oumuamua, resulting in an incorrect estimate of the available amount of hydrogen in the iceberg. Leob, who had previously suggested that Oumuamua may be an alien spaceship, thinks that the outgassing of the available hydrogen could not have produced the observable acceleration. Regardless of which theory proves correct, the appearance of a bizarre object like Oumuamua could rank among the most significant discoveries in human history. If it is artificial, it could mean that we are not alone and that interstellar travel or communication might already be occurring. In response, astronomers are working on new techniques to detect and analyze future interstellar visitors. 
Upcoming telescopes and missions may offer deeper insight into these enigmatic objects, and perhaps finally reveal the truth behind them. Take for example the Legacy Survey of Space and Time, LSST, conducted by the Rubin Observatory, which will dramatically increase the detection rate of interstellar objects, aka ISOs, potentially discovering dozens per year, including objects similar in size to Oumuamua. Its wide sky coverage and deep limiting magnitude approximately 24.5 in G-band make it uniquely suited for spotting faint, fast-moving interstellar visitors. Due to the rarity and brief visibility of ISOs, astronomers are applying machine learning algorithms, such as gradient-boosting machines, GBM, and random forests, RF, to automatically classify and distinguish ISOs from the vast number of solar system objects in LSST data. These models have shown high precision and recall in simulations, and successfully flagged Oumuamua, you all, and 2i slash Borisov as ISOs without false positives, enabling timely follow-up observations. For those who don't know, 2i slash Borisov is a second interstellar object that was discovered in 2019, displaying classic cometary features, thereby supporting the idea that many interstellar visitors may resemble comets. Despite promising results, current models still face difficulties achieving high true positive rates and low false negative rates with limited observational data. Improving these models requires more comprehensive ISO data and enhanced linking of observations across nights, especially for hyperbolic orbits, typical of ISOs. Concepts involving spacecraft swarms and autonomous navigation algorithms are being explored to enable close encounters and detailed study of ISOs in the future, potentially allowing direct sampling or in situ analysis. In addition, researchers have received fellowships to study small bodies, including ISOs, aiming to better understand their origins, compositions, and the processes shaping planetary systems. In 2024, James Ray, a professor in the School of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences at Georgia Tech, has just been awarded a Simons Foundation Pivot Fellowship to do just that. Pivot Fellowships are among the most prestigious sources of funding for cutting-edge research and support leading researchers who have the deep interest, curiosity, and drive to make contributions to a new discipline. Ray has primarily studied the geoscience of Mars. He will leverage his knowledge of nearby planets to understand ISOs and planets much farther away. I want to understand how planets got to be the way they are and if they could have ever hosted life, he explains. Extrasolar planets give us many more places to ask those questions than our solar system does. But they're too distant to visit with spacecraft. ISOs provide a unique opportunity to explore other solar systems without leaving our own. In summary, the combination of next-generation telescopes like the Rubin Observatory, sophisticated machine learning classification systems, and innovative mission concepts promises a new era of discovery and detailed characterization of interstellar visitors. These advances will deepen our understanding of the materials and dynamics of planetary systems beyond our own and may finally unravel the mysteries surrounding enigmatic objects like Oumuamua. Oumuamua remains one of the greatest cosmic mysteries of our time. Whether natural or artificial, it challenges everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. What do you think it really is? Let me know in the comments below.